Hello, welcome to another part of Metal World. I am Dr. Hamdan bin Muhammad Yusuf, your instructor for mechanical and thermal properties of material. I will briefly discuss the importance of mechanical properties in this lecture. Have you ever wondered why pencil or pen never made from glass or rubber? Why objects are made from certain material and not others? Well, you see different materials have different mechanical properties. Mechanical properties determine how material will react when it's subject to one or more mechanical constraint. It is important for engineers to know how the various mechanical properties are measured and what these properties represent. Many material when in service are subjected to forces or load. For example, the aluminium alloy from which an airplane wing is constructed, the steel in the automobile axle, and the ropes for bridge. In such a situation, it is necessary to know the characteristic of the material and to have a good design so that any deformation will not excessive and fracture will not occur. Example of mechanical properties that material might have are hardness, elasticity, strength, stiffness, ductility, and toughness. If we think about something that had, we may think of something that are not easily deformed, meaning it can withstand certain amount of force. The thing is, even a very hard object do deform, but in a very very tiny scale that is react to pressure forced by elastic deformation in this case deformation is temporary and it will resume to the original shape can you recognize this character from the movie this is the movie of Robin Hood now notice he is holding the bow and the arrow do you know what type of material used for the bow why do you think they choose those materials. If you like jewelry, you are probably wearing material that have mechanical property of ductility. Ductility means something stretching without breaking. For example, a long copper wire that can be stretched into whatever shape you want it to be a goal for making jewelry. Now, ductility material react to tension force by plastic deformation. They are permanently changed the shape but they are still in one piece. One thing that may gymnasts cannot live without is tensile strength. Tensile strength can be found in a thing such as ropes. It raises tension without becoming permanently deformed. It reacts to tension force by elastic deformation, which means it resumes its original shape or length. As a summary, here is the table of the properties we covered in this lesson. You can look around you and find an object that can have more than one of these properties. Let's take a moment and analyze the properties found in these materials for build a handphone. Can you recognize what are the material properties for different parts? Is it hard? Is it elastic? Mechanical properties are, the, are of concern to many parties, for example, producers and consumers of materials, research organizations, government agencies that have different interests. Therefore, it needs consistency for testing the material. The common standard users is ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials Standards. If you are a structural engineer, your role is to determine stress and strain distribution within members that are subjected to well-defined loads. This may be accomplished by experimental testing techniques and or by mathematical stress analysis. Materials and metallurgical engineers, on the other hand, are concerned with the producing and fabricating materials to meet service requirement. This may involve an understanding of relationship 
between macrostructure of materials and their mechanical properties. That's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.